I've been working and thinking about this for some time before I actually started it. And, and, and my background is um, early stage businesses, corporate finance. I sit in the advisory board for a venture capital firm. So I know how investors behave. I know how fund managers behave. I know what private investors want. And I know, I know the problems with wealth managers. And what I looked at was three big trends, actually. Firstly, digital technology. Technology generally, people are going online. People want to interact online. They want to do it themselves. So can I do it myself? Can I build my own? Can I do this? I then saw demographics. So the baby boomers are starting to retire, and the cohort within there who are wealth creators are retiring. They become portfolio managers. They're looking for a different sort of investment product. And, and these behaviors are actually creating problems for fund managers. They're seeing their fund investors thinking, I'll go online and do it myself. It's a problem for wealth managers. They're seeing their clients drift away from advice. And so we said, well, actually, that's not right. Fund managers, wealth managers, investors actually need to talk to each other. They, they work better together. How do we enable that with technology? The fund managers that are on our platform are typically looking for new customers. You know, they, they already have fund investors, uh, but they're using our platform to speak to a, a, a part of the market that they're not already speaking to. You know, fund managers are starting to feel their way into like the digital world to access new clients um, who aren't necessarily looking at their funds. So for, from an investor's perspective, they get to come onto the platform, try out a fund manager on a deal by deal basis, and hopefully then build a relationship with them. But ultimately, for a fund manager, this is a way to recognize that there is a growing cohort of, of people who are comfortable transacting online, are savvy enough to look at fee structures, also savvy enough to, to take a view on a sector or the types of companies that they're, that they're putting up. We've got a number of different products on the platform, but one of them that's getting a lot more notice recently is um, EIS eligible companies. It's a um, scheme from the government, it's called the Enterprise Investment Scheme. And it means that when you invest in a young growing company um, based in the UK, you can get 30% of your investment back as an income tax offset. So it's a really fantastic benefit immediately for you as an investor. So what we're doing is saying, we give investors what they want. They can go online, they can build their own portfolios. But where they do it, it has some risk mitigation around it. Every deal they see has a manager who is leading it, who has done the due diligence, who will manage it to exit as best they can. And so we are saying, this is a high risk space. People want more of it, they want to do it online. But if you're going to do that, the best way to do it is think about risk and co-invest alongside a manager who is a professional.